So, as many of you are familiar with, the Fallout series is one of Bethesda Softworks' greatest creations, along with The Elder Scrolls. However, because of the launch of the somewhat disappointing The Elder Scrolls Online, Bethesda now has plans to make the next great masterpiece, Fallout 4, an MMO. So, here are my five reasons why Fallout 4 should not be an MMO. Number 5. Fallout, as well as The Elder Scrolls, is focused on immersion. Perhaps this is why The Elder Scrolls Online did not do as well as Bethesda had hoped. I mean, walking around Tamriel with friends would be great if you didn't hear ten-year-olds screaming at each other the entire time. Imagine what it would be like with Fallout. Not good. When it comes to Fallout, the world and environment around the player must feel alive and convincing. That would be hard to accomplish if there were annoying fifth graders wrecking you and screaming profane things over the mic. Number 4. NPCs will be greatly, and I mean greatly, diminished. Think about it. In a game where you'll just be playing online with other people, NPCs won't serve any more purpose than to give you a fetch this or fetch that kind of quest. All of the love, connection, and passion would be taken away from what makes the storylines so great. In an RPG-based game, that is unacceptable. Number 3. Competition. Most highly acclaimed games on the market nowadays are competitive online games. Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, heck, even Watch Dogs will have leaderboards for players to be part of. It's important to get a good, very polished and well done game out on the market that isn't a competition through and through. And let's face it, MMOs are king of competition. Number 2. In this day of age, it can be difficult to earn up enough money to purchase that one game you're looking forward to. And once you finally buy it, you can brush off your shoulders, sigh with relief, and take the next week off playing this one game. But like they did with The Elder Scrolls Online, Bethesda would surely make Fallout 4 a subscription-only game if it were to become an MMO. Meaning that, instead of buying the game and then sitting down and enjoying it, you'd constantly have to pay a set amount of money every month. This could be even $15 a month, and that is a ripoff. In fact, the only way this could work is if Bethesda took an approach like DayZ. Players are thrown into a world where they must survive by sometimes making hard decisions. Even so, this is not the course of action that our next beloved Fallout game should take. And also, letting players pay for the game once, either electronically or purchasing the hard disk, opens up a much larger community for this game, as well as bringing in more profits. Number 1. Stick to the roots. What do I mean by stick to the roots? Well, I certainly don't mean repeat the same thing over and over that have been done for the past games, but make sure that what we experience in Fallout 4 is simply a reminder of what we experienced in past games, by also giving us a new and exciting experience. Make Fallout 4 an RPG with a massive world, memorable characters and stories, and let it be the best Fallout game that we will have played to date. It is important to bring us, the players, with the same level of immersion that was in the original, Fallout 2, and Fallout 3. Let us clock in hundreds of hours fighting for our very survival, not just to get more and more loot. So there you have it, my five reasons why Fallout 4 should not be an MMO. Of course, these are only some of my opinions. If you have any different thoughts on this topic, then feel free to share them. And as always, thank you for watching.